What's going on, everybody? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and smash that bell. This week's topic is something that I've been really holding on to for about a week and a half because I want to perfect it. I want to really give it my flavor. And um, I'm just going to jump right in. So today we're going to be talking about surrounding yourself with good people. Surrounding yourself with good people. Saying goodbye to the negative Nancys in your life. Being in a position to where you can eliminate the distractions and, and the things around you that cause you to react negatively. It's supposed to be about promoting positivity on a day-to-day -day basis. And I understand that as humans, we don't wake up being positive every single day. But being able to remove those negative people out of your life is so instrumental to having a not only a successful relationship, but just being successful, period. Um, life is already hard enough. We don't really need negative people in our lives. I know, you know, that we have obstacles and we can't always win in a game called life. You know, um, find people who are smarter than you. Connect on a level with others that are smarter than you in certain circumstances and situations. Um, I find that a lot of times, as far as relationships are concerned, that I personally had an issue with dating people that were on the same level as me. I felt like I wanted to date someone that supersedes my expectations and they pull me to become a better person, a better man per se. Finding people that can actually show you you, can show you how to grow in such a way that it promotes positivity, but it also helps you grow in your faith it helps you grow in your finances. It helps you grow in your relationship. A lot of these things piggyback off one another. Um, they go hand in hand. Being able to cultivate real life relationships with people who are already accomplishing their goals. Being in a relationship, it is very goal driven. It is very taxing on the mind, body, soul, and spirit when you're in a relationship. But if you have a goal-oriented wife, a goal-oriented husband, a goal-oriented um, boyfriend, or a goal-oriented girlfriend, it helps you because you learn how to not only set those boundaries, but set realistic goals for yourself. And, and you put yourself in a position to where you balance yourself. You are inclined to do better once you see better and a lot of times we as people don't always take it serious a lot of times in relationships we find ourselves catering to other people's needs and forgetting about ourselves and also forgetting about the things that we can do to make things better in our relationship giving our relationship the same love and care that we give the person that's in the relationship surround yourself with good people, good positive minded people. If you cannot play basketball, watch the game. If you cannot play basketball, watch the game. In real life situations, a lot of times what we do is we find ourselves playing one-on-one -on -one with ourselves. We find ourselves playing 21 with our significant other. And anybody that's anybody that knows about basketball knows about one-on-one -on -one and 21. And if you don't know about basketball terminology and you don't know these games that I'm talking about, allow me to break it down to you. In one-on-one, -on -one, in any sport, it's all about offense and defense. When I say you find yourself playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself, you will put yourself in a position to where you become so used to the things that you're doing that you overanalyze your own situations and your own relationship. You put yourself in a situation where you become your own worst enemy, one-on-one -on -one with yourself. You start questioning things that you already know the answer to. You will sabotage your relationship playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself. You find yourself playing one-on-one -on -one at work 
you know, with your with your job or your career. You find yourself playing one on one with your finances. You find yourself playing one on one with your faith. You find yourself playing one on one a lot of times when you surround yourself with negative people because you become the negative person. You are what you hang around. So once you think more positive and you hang around the good people, the positive people in, in your relationship or just in general, you start to possess positive qualities about yourself. So when it comes down to the 21 game uh, with your significant other, and uh, what happens in that game is you find yourself trying to get to a a goal that you guys set, but you find yourself competing with one another instead of working as a team. You find yourself competing with each other instead of working as a team. You're trying to get to this common goal before your significant other. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a healthy competition between you and your spouse. In fact, I find it very, very healthy to do such in certain circumstances and situations. But the worst thing you can do is play 21 and compete with your significant other on important subjects and important matters, such as your relationship, such as your money, as far as finances, such as your faith. You cannot play 21 with these things because you suck yourself in a negative space. You put yourself in a negative mind frame in a negative space. And then what happens is one of you are going to win and the other one is going to lose. Therefore, you should surround yourself with positive people, positive like-minded people, to where instead of playing one-on-one -on -one with yourself or playing 21 with your significant other, you are now on the team. You are on the same team with your significant other. You are on the same team with your coworkers. You are on the same team with the members at your church. You are on the same team with these people to where now you're not competing with each other. You're helping each other. So if you're not helping, you're hindering. So a lot of times we as people find ourselves hindering our own situations. We're standing in our own way of our blessings. We're standing in our own way of things that we already know what we supposed to be doing. You know, they always say walk by faith and not by sight. A lot of times you can't see where you're going with your physical eyes. But that's why you're supposed to be so spiritually inclined that you can see things with your spirit, your spiritual eye that you cannot see with your physical eye. Being in those predicaments. And back to the basketball story, you know, it's a whole lot easier playing on a team versus playing one on one with yourself or 21 with your significant other. I can guarantee that. Oftentimes we find ourselves in these these crazy situations because again, we, we surround ourselves with people that don't mean us any good. Whether it's, you know, friends that we have, um, if it's coworkers that we have, we associate ourselves with all these people and we don't know how to set boundaries according to the circumstances and situations that we place ourselves in. When you surround yourself with people who love you and your life, it doesn't seem boring. It's fun. You find yourself doing things and you enjoy the things that you do for you and the people that's around you. When you surround yourself with people who love you for you, you will find that work no longer becomes work. It becomes your passion. You're driven. You're doing things that really inspire you to be a better you. When you surround yourself with people that love you, these, these good people, you no longer have exes. You have friends. The people that you once love, you will always love. But if you surround yourself with enough positivity, you can move past the hurt and start to see the good even in the people that did you wrong. When you surround yourself with people who love you, the, your whole in, entire world changes right before your eyes. When you start surrounding yourself with good people, surround yourself with people that genuinely care about your feelings. They genuinely care about the things that you do and they genuinely have a honest, sincere, transparent view of you. These people can tell you when you're right. These people can tell you when you're wrong and it does not affect you in a negative way. When you surround yourself with people who love you for you and that are good people, the world seems a whole lot smaller. Your opportunities become bigger 
and everything begins to seem endless because again, you have so much positivity surrounding you that you can't see beyond the positivity because you're in such a positive space. When you surround yourself with these good people that really love you for you, everything has a purpose. Everything, everything has a sole purpose in your life. We are here for a reason. It's something that happens today that happened for a reason so you could get to a place to where you're hurting and you needed to hear something that was said today. Something that I said is going to trigger you to be in a more positive state after you watch this video today. Being in a positive mindset, being able to really take the time to grasp what it is to be a, a positive person for other people because your journey doesn't start and stop with you. It starts with you, but your journey never stops. You're ever, ever, and I mean this, you are forever indebted to other people. You have a purpose on your life. You have a calling on your life. You are blessed in certain areas that I don't know anything about. Um, and maybe some, some of you don't even know what you're blessed in as far as your, your, your spiritual anointings and your gifts, but you have not only a choice, but a responsibility to help other people and remaining in a positive state is the best way that you can do that. All the negativity that you surround yourself with, you become everything that you surround yourself with. So the more negative you are, the more negative you put out. That's why you have a lot of arguments in relationships. You have a lot of disagreements. You have a lot of backbiting. You have a lot of stress. You worry yourself to a point to where you can't find that balance because you're surrounding yourself with negativity. Surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with people that's going to help elevate you to that next level, not pull you down. Surround yourself with these people that are there to not only encourage you, but inspire you, to teach you, to mentor you so you can go out and encourage so you can go out and inspire, so you can go out and, and, and teach, so you can go out there and motivate other people, other believers. Find yourself a situation to where you are comfortable with self and you can promote positivity. I don't care if it's at work. I don't care if it's in your relationship. I don't care if it's in your marriage. I don't care if it's with your kids. I don't care if it's with someone you're dating, someone you're courting. Find yourself in a better situation than you are today, than you were yesterday. Because tomorrow isn't promised and you can't go back in the past and change anything. So you have to live in the moment right now. Find your peace, find your happy place and surround yourself with happy people. Surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with people that love you for you. Surround yourself with good people. It's a lot of good people in this world. But on the flip side of that, it's a lot of bad people in this world as well. Take the time out to really cherish the people that are there for you. Spend time because the relationships you cultivate today are definitely shaping your tomorrow. The people you surround yourself with today are definitely shaping your, your tomorrow. Have you ever been in a situation where you had a positive mindset and you go to work and it's a negative person at your job and you end up picking up their negative spirit? That spirit jumps off of them and jumps onto you. They can say something that rubs you the wrong way and now you have an attitude. Or have you ever been at home and you sitting around with your girlfriend and your boyfriend and they had a bad attitude about something and you stay in that space too long and now you start to have a bad attitude. These things happen all the time. The transference of energy happens all the time. Be careful about who you spend your time with. Be careful about what you spend your time doing. Be careful about what you're listening to. Be careful about what you're seeing. Spend time being as positive as you can and learn how to give back. Pay it forward. If you, if you see someone in need, help them. Surround yourself with good people and good things that happen. Surround yourself with bad people, then you're destined for doom. Be in a space to where you can understand who you are as a man, as a woman, as an individual, as a human being. Being around positivity promotes positivity. If you are around the right people, you can feed off of that positive energy and it'll always bring you up. The Lord has a, a, a gift for you and you have a purpose. 
put yourself in a predicament to where it's a good predicament and not a bad one. If you're in a negative situation right now, remove yourself. If you're in a situation to where you feel like you're lost, you're hopeless, you need help with something, reach out to someone that can help you. If you feel like you need a hug, find someone that can give you a hug. If you feel like you need love, learn how to love yourself and learn what it really means to love you and to love other people. Put yourself in these predicaments to always, always remain positive, even in negative situations, because God not only looks at what you do, he looks at your intentions. Make sure your intentions are always pure. Make sure you're always doing the best of your ability and never forget to promote positivity by surrounding yourself with positive people. For those that are looking for merchandise, merchandise will be coming soon. All access backstage hoodies will be going on sale. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's 2020. It's time to start doing these vision boards. It's time to start going out and, and, and really seeing the world. It's time to travel. It's time to spread the, the love, these, these wonderful words. It's time to be motivational. It's time to be encouraging. It's time to uplift our brothers and sisters. It's time to really get our mentorship on. We really getting ready to take over. I'm getting ready to take over. It's unlimited from here on out. The chains are off and the sky is, there is no limit for me. There is no limit. This is me all day, every day. One love.